Hi, I'm Jamie, also known as the Traveling Baker, and I thought it would be fun to do a weekly series on travel tips every Tuesday uh, called Tuesday's Travel Tips, and this is my first one. I hope you enjoy it. I would like to share some of the tips that I have learned and have read about throughout my travels. Um, I hope you comment on the page and ask questions and maybe share some tips of your own. I always love learning new things. That is my dog, Kelly, not enjoying that I'm not giving attention to her. So, um, the first one I'm going to start out with today is something really simple, but I can tell you it has been a godsend every time I have traveled. And I do this whether I'm traveling a few hours away or across an ocean or across the pond, as they would say. And that is, is to pack Ziploc or plastic bags um, with you when you travel. I can't tell you how many times I've gone somewhere and I've used these either on the way or when I come home from a trip. They're very easy. Um, I pack them in all sizes. These are the snack size bags. These are the sandwich bags. I pack a couple of the quart size bags. Um, this is also the size that you need when you do a carry-on bag. This is what you're limited to. And then I pack several of the gallon size bags. I simply slide them in the side of my suitcase and um, they're there when I arrive. And they don't take up a lot of room. They don't take up a lot of weight. And if you don't use them, you can use them when you come home. It's no big deal. But again, I can't tell you how many times I have had, you know, a wet swimsuit or something where a gallon bag um, comes in handy. I can throw it in there, especially if I'm traveling to another destination and won't um, get my other items in the suitcase wet. Comes in handy for this. Um, I also use a travel serum for my hair. And um, I never, never, never leave home without packing this in a little snack bag. I don't know if I lost the cap or if it didn't come with the cap, but I just um, shove it in here. Maybe I'll double it up, and I don't have to worry about it getting all over the place. Um, if I buy honey or barbecue sauce or something with liquid, um, this works perfectly in a gallon, in a, I'm sorry, a quart bag or in a sandwich bag. So what I might do is wrap this in some paper, or a lot of times when you buy something at a store, you can wrap it in paper, and I'll stick it inside my quart size bag, you know, for the way home, and just lock it up. And I can feel a little bit better knowing that it's, if it does break and explode on the way home, it's not going to get all over my stuff. So again, this is something really simple, but I can't tell you, again, how many times I've used this, how many times it saved me, or just, you know, you might have wet or dirty shoes from something. And you don't, again, you don't want them getting all over your stuff. So throw them in a bag and you're golden. So um, I hope you learned this tip and happy traveling.